as a Twitch streamer and gamer, we're always looking for something that's going to give us that little edge, perhaps more discoverability, relevance, or searchability. So when Amazon Luna came out with Twitch integration, I wanted to take a look to see what's good and bad about it, and also if this is going to change the platform of Twitch and streaming itself to help viewers and streamers. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into it, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Amazon Luna's Twitch integration. That was a mouthful, but first, a word from our sponsor. Man, it's getting so cold around here, but it's all right, because I can keep my chill vibes going with my brand new overlay package, the Winter Series, to give me that clean, slick, and oh-so-appealing cool style that we're all looking for. Beautiful transitions, graphics, and overlays to make your stream stand out this winter holiday season. Give it a peek with my links down in the video description below. And guess what? Clicking through those will save you some extra cash. It's just my little holiday treat. And thank you for supporting my channel. Now, back to the video. Hey, what is up all you awesome and beautiful streamers? Wild for Games here, helping you become bigger and better with your streaming and content creation needs. In our last video, I did a complete deep dive and review of the Amazon Luna. If you're interested in that, check it out in the top right corner because it goes over all the basic necessities and what's good and what's bad about it and if it would be a perfect match for you and your couch gaming needs. One thing I did not go over though was the Twitch integration because I feel like it needs its own segment, especially if you are a streamer or a viewer on Twitch's platform. So let's dive right into that and get to the meat and potatoes of what that means for someone like you. When it comes to Twitch integration, we have to tackle this from two sides, Twitch's side and Amazon side. Let's start with Twitch. So what do you get with Twitch integration with Amazon Luna? Sadly, nothing really. Yeah, sadly, at the moment, you get close to nothing with the integration. The only thing you really get is when you go to certain game directories that are supported by Luna, you will see in that category a Play on Luna tab, which allows you to play the game on your browser or any device that you own. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it on Twitch's side. We'll give this a one out of five stars, basically nothing. But what about Amazon side? When you go to Amazon and you log in under the Luna side and you select a game that you're thinking about playing, if you scroll down, you do get to see Twitch streamers that are currently live streaming that game, which is awesome because rather than just watching a trailer or some screenshots to see if you want to play the game, you can actually watch that streamer and see if it would be the right game for you, which can lead to discoverability through relevance of looking under that game directory or games in general. Even though this integration on Amazon Luna side is really cool because you could discover new streamers, it's very bare bones and basics to where it kind of actually sucks. The integration only gives you so much. You can only watch and not participate in the channel or the chat. Yeah, you can click through the video player there, which allows you to watch on Twitch's platform so that way you can participate. Or if you're on a mobile device, it'll take you to your Twitch app so you can participate again. But I feel like since I'm already logged in on these two platforms and they're integrated, it should do this automatically for me or at least a populate a browser in browser or picture in picture so that way I can participate without leaving Luna's website. This feels like it's, there's a disassociation to it and it's not fully integrated properly yet. So with the Twitch and Amazon Luna integration, is there anything that's worthwhile about it? At the moment, I would say no. However, if they changed a few things and kind of refined it, it could be really, really cool. Some suggestions I would put into it on Twitch's side, even though this is a pipe dream and I have no idea how you would code this, if a streamer is playing a game on Twitch's platform that is also a game that's on Amazon Luna's playlist, it would be super dope if I was watching that streamer and I could jump into their game provided they would allow me and play the game with them on my browser or any of my mobile devices. This would be awesome for co-op games, multiplayer games, and beyond. A great example would be something like The Division 2. I think that would be one of the dopest tools to have in the new age of cloud computing games to help you build a community. On Amazon's side, I feel like it's on the right track with showing streamers, but I feel like it's not really promoting or incentivizing you to look at that film strip or go down and look at the streamers at all. I mean, the thumbnails are super small. It doesn't display titles or viewer counts to entice me to click in 
on certain streamers at all. And when I do pick someone, the window is so small that it doesn't really incentivize me to watch more than just a few seconds. All these things could easily be fixed, but I kind of have to give it a pass because again, it's in beta. If they could fix the interactions, the titles, the thumbnails, a lot of the, the UI around it, this could be really, really cool for a lot of people to get discovered when they're searching through Amazon Luna. So the big question is, do I think Amazon Luna will help Twitch's platform? And more importantly, do I think it'll help Twitch streamers and Twitch viewers? To be honest, I think it's too early to tell. Amazon Luna is still in beta. I think it's making the right moves in the right direction, but it still needs a lot of refinement. Now to be 100% honest with you i know nothing about cloud computing when it comes to gaming i don't know if it's an easy thing or a hard thing for developer and publishers or amazon or twitch itself but if this was concentrated on i do see how amazon luna could be the future of gaming for a lot of people which means it could be a very nice niche for Twitch streamers and Twitch viewers out there, as long as Amazon plans to support this platform for the, the present and future. Just think about how much opportunity you could have as a Twitch streamer if they started supporting things like AAA games or new releases on launch dates for games or even IP games that come out. This could be really, really huge, especially if they kind of collected exclusives under this platform to where you could only stream it through Luna and Twitch. That could get you a lot of searchability, relevance, and discoverability, but only time will tell. Like literally, if they made the changes that I suggested, incorporated IP games, AAA games, games that were coming out on release days for first launches, and exclusives, that would bring so much traffic and eyeballs to streamers and viewers ways. Now, if you wanna know more about Amazon Luna and what's good or bad about it, or if you wanna get back to couch gaming, and trust me, it's been nice getting back to couch gaming. I did a full deep dive review of the Amazon Luna. I'm gonna put it over here to the side. I really recommend you check it out because it also helps support my channel. Until next time, I will see all of you awesome people coming up in my next video. Wild for Games asking you to stay safe, have fun, and always keep streaming. Take care, and of course, peace.